boy. Oh, well, it's Saturday morning. I didn't go to the Stowe Car Show Friday to sleep over to avoid the traffic of the mountain road like I usually do because they were calling for rain and it rained Thursday night, boy, big time. So I'm underneath the spider adjusting my back brakes because I didn't have self-adjusters until 63. And I just checked my differential oil and for some reason it's full. Huh. I still drove, or Mrs. CW still drove from Sturbridge to Portland, Maine. And I think maybe, is it possible that I'm leaking from the dipstick tube that I never installed because I didn't have one for some reason? I don't know, I got oil on the turbo pipe and hmm. hate to have to drop this whole thing just to change the seal inside here. Yeah, anyhow, I'm gonna adjust the brakes and pack up the Suburban and Miss CCW will follow me and I won't install that bracket for the emergency brake underneath there right now. And I'll break the, uh, adjust the back brakes and hit the road. Yeah, differential oil was full. Still 250 miles, I think, from Sturbridge to Portland. 175, rather. 200, plus the extra miles. Went the wrong way. All right. I'm going to get this thing going. I've got no trailer hitch. Took it off. No one noticed my beautiful muffler clamp. Oh, well. Oil everywhere. All right. I'm getting to work. It's 9.30, Sunday, Saturday morning. Time to go to the car show. Got my brake spoons. All right, one more video. This brake is done. This brake is done. And I was just looking around underneath here to see if I'm leaking from that dipstick filler, which is right there. And I've got to put a, make a hole Right there, there's already a knockout plug. Look at that. Huh. Because the dipstick tube didn't come out until 64, and this engine may have some 64 shrouds on it, so for the moment, I'm just gonna block this thing off. Or maybe I'll go up top and take a look and see what we got. Oh. Oh, there's a hole in the shroud. Hmm. The hole's over there. With a plug. But I think the hole belongs over here. So I don't think that's in the right spot. Hmm. You can always just pop it out and see what happens, I suppose. So much for getting to the car show. I want to get going. <sighs> hmm. Pretty sure the hole's over here. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to plug it for now. Plug it. Plug it. All right. I got the front brakes adjusted. Tiny bit of drag. And there's where my play is in the steering box. Just a little bit of play. I'll take this apart one day and put a new bushing and I'll show you how that's done. There's no rust up front. Oh, surface rust there. Clunk hit a curb one day. No rust on the cross member. Saw a Corvair at the car show. I didn't want to put it in the video or did I? The front cross member was all rusted out. I'm missing one of my dog legs. That one's there. But that one's not. It'd be nice if I had it right there. Got my suspension all greased up. No rust in this trunk. Rust in the floor. All right. I'll let the jack down. Arrive stoned. Hope to get to Vermont. Car show. Sooner than later. Oops. Brake spoons. Gotta have them. Bent screwdriver, same thing. <laughs> All right. Maybe no more videos till I hit the road. We'll see. All right. All done. I'm going to move the vehicles around the corner 
Got my <laughs> excess camber, huh? Gonna crank this baby up, put the camera on a bucket. Low tech. Fire her up. Hasn't been running in a week or two. Fire it up, pull it out of the barn, shop, garage. Either it'll fire right up instantly or it'll crank for a minute until the fuel pump builds pressure. Because it's attached to the oil pressure switch, which means I gotta have oil pressure to have fuel pump electricity. Crank her up! in Holyoke, Massachusetts. Doesn't help things much, but it keeps the chain or the rope tight. All right, close up the doors, get the Suburban next door, get it loaded up with everything Mr. CW wants. Bicycles, canoes, kayaks, dogs, carriers, clothes, food. We gotta leave by around four o'clock this afternoon. Just in time for the street dancing. Whoop! All right, next stop, Stovermont. And the ferry to get there.